Hey guys, Clint here with ATS. Hey, uh, I'm gonna like give you guys a super treat. If you're a Cummins owner and you have an Allison transmission in your vehicle already, and you've been missing out on all these functions like cruise control working and remote start and backup camera, push button start, I mean the list goes on and on. Basically, your truck that you got brand new that when you put the Allison in it, half the stuff didn't work anymore and you just live with it because that's all there is in the market. Well, guess what? I have a treat for you. So I'm sure you know by now we've released a complete Allison conversion for all the Ram or the Dodge and Ram trucks. Um, what you're looking at here is our CAN controller stuff, the later module stuff, which is more like mostly 10 to current, but you know, really focusing on like the 12 to current. So anyway, it doesn't really matter what it is, um, including the 5.9 trucks. We haven't released the 5.9 truck stuff yet, but we're in the process of doing that. So here in a couple months, um, by summer of 22, um, we should have the 5.9 stuff released, hopefully if we don't have any more delays with product. Anyway, what I'm about to tell you is super exciting and super easy. So everything you see here is what you need to fix your Allison convert, previously Allen, Allison converted um, 6, 7 truck. So that means if you've taken the time to put a Chevy Allison behind your Cummins, you know, grinding the block, all that whole mess of stuff that, you, that you know, everybody had to do in the past to get a reliable transmission, the good news is, is we can make that tranny work exactly how it's, you've always wanted to make it work. Now, this is, this, is the, this is the electronic package that we have for our ATS Alice conversion that we install in every one of our conversions. And you are gonna freak out when you see how clean and simple and easy this is. So I'm gonna walk you through it on the bench. So we've got a couple components. We've got our main wiring harness. We have our Allison TCM, which by the way is programmable. It's open architect, which means that you can plug into this and you can write your own tranny maps if you need to. Now, we send them out pre-programmed for your basic application, for your gear ratio, for the turbo size you're running, for um, you know whether it's a 2500, 3500, 5500, um, two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive, whatever it is, we have probably about 20 different calibrations that we basically start with that we're passing on to you guys because we've kind of done all that homework. But even if you get one of those calibrations and you want to say change the shift speed by like five miles per hour on your three, four upshift, guess what? You plug into it, you get to ride it yourself. Super cool, can't do that anywhere else. And then we have our couple little harnesses. So we basically have three harnesses and the real magic behind this whole deal is our translator, okay? The translator box is what makes the truck talk to this guy and makes this guy talk to the truck, right? So the body control module and then like in engine control module, the BCM, ECM, they are talking together, they're talking to the transmission. Well, the transmission module here, if you take your Chrysler transmission out, it can't talk to it anymore. So what, is, what did everybody have to do? You would have to flash your vehicle to a standard transmission calibration, which means that it gets rid of like, hold the whole truck, right? Your park reverse neutral drive indicator doesn't work, the tap shifter doesn't work, your cruise control doesn't work, your tow haul doesn't work, all of those things that you want in a, in a vehicle that you're invested, you know, anywhere from 50 to $150,000 in, it would be nice if all that shit worked, right? Well, guess what? Now you can, so this is how simple it is. So if you've already done a conversion, then there's a couple wires that you had to cut. You like had to cut your tow haul wire, sometimes a starter wire, some functions that you're trying to cram in, to, you know, get like these, you know, whether it's a, there's some other ones out there, like, you know, like a PCS module or a, um, uh, California, or I'm sorry, uh, CA conversions, <clears throat> those types of things. There's a couple of them out there that don't provide this type of technology. So if you have any of those systems, then all you have to do is just unplug their stuff, literally just unplug it, you know, put it in the filing cabinet or wherever you want to put it, sell it to your buddy, do something with it, right? And then you're going to install this harness, which I'm gonna walk over to the transmission here in one second and show you how slick this harness is, but this is going to go up inside the fender well, and we have all the brackets for it. This literally plugs into your Allison TCM, okay? So that is your Allison TCM up above the fender well. You're going to take this guy, and you're going to plug it into here. See how nice and clean and easy that is? Then this 
goes inside the dash, right? So remember, and you're done out here. Everything's done. You just wired up the entire tranny, right? You're done. This goes underneath the firewall. This plugs into our translator module, like so, okay? These guys are universal. It depends on the year model of your truck. This plugs in to, and you'll see here, they're all, um, they're all basically spaded, so you can't, you can't plug them in wrong, right? I mean, if, if it plugs in, it works. If it doesn't plug in, then it doesn't work, okay? So now you're plugging into the translator module. And then this guy is going to plug into the truck, right? So there's different connectors depending on exactly what it is. But this plugs into the truck. So you basically have just wired in your entire Allison build, okay? So you're making it talk to the truck. This mounts right on the left kick panel, right exactly where the TCM would be if you have an ASIN truck. If you don't have an ASIN truck, there's nothing there. This is bolts in. So this size, this completely mimics the ASIN TCM. And then these two are your communication ports. This is the communication port. So you can talk to this guy, so you can change values inside of it. So we've made software that you can change um, for the transmission controller or the translator module that will allow you certain little details like <clears throat> changing um, how much D fuel you decide the engine um, w wants to have based on your transmission build. So I'm going to talk about that a little bit more in some depth. So one of the things you're going to find when you put the system in, you're going to pick up horsepower. You take out that system that you have in there previously and you put this in your vehicle, your tr tranny one is going to shift exactly where it's supposed to be. It's going to have perfect shift timing, shift quality. It's going to do exactly what it's supposed to do. But your engine's going to make more power because this guy has, one, removing some of the D fuel that would normally be in there. And in some cases, it will add it, you know, at lighter throttle level so you have a really smooth shift. So you're going to freak out when you install this kit on two things. One, how easy it is but number two, how well it drives. You are going to love your truck again, the way this thing works. I mean, this system, years in development, is finally ready for market, and it's just phenomenal. I mean, guys are absolutely loving it. So you have your 100% plug and play system here. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna unplug it now from the vehicle, and I'm gonna unplug the TCM, just so I don't break it when we walk over the tranny. This is what's gonna be underneath the vehicle, right? So as we kind of walk over here, this is the transmission that we're building. Now, this is one of our Allison um, conversions. Um, it obviously has the, the, the uh, Cummins bell housing on it, which if you have done previously, you've done a install where you've you know, ground the block and used the GM bell housing, um, all that stuff, then you know, your bell housing is going to be a little bit different. But check this out. You're gonna, this, is, this is so beautiful. So it plugs in to your connector, right? And then this bolts to the mount that we've supplied you, right? If you have a different mount, then, then disconnect it. This has a nice little bolt-on application. So we're gonna bolt that to the transmission. Okay, then we're gonna plug in the speed sensor. See how sweet that is? Now, these two guys are for your output speed sensor. Okay, so now you got your output speed sensor, you got your uh, intermediate speed sensor, or your turbine shaft, and then you have your. Now, this bolts onto this one. I'm not going to take it out, but you get, kind of get the gist. You bolt it on, right? And then you plug that in so it's all bolted up. So nice and clean, very factory. I mean, actually almost nicer than factory, I would have to say. And then this goes right up on through by the side of the engine. And then this goes under your fender well, right? So the fender well, you're gonna pull the fender lining out. You know, like literally if the wheel front, left front wheel is here, you're gonna take your inner liner out and that's gonna go right up inside where your TCM is and bolt it under our bracket and then you're done. This goes inside the cab. You just wired up the transmission completely. I mean, that's all there is to it. Okay, so what we do is we put our reluctor <coughs> inside the factory extension housing on all of our Allison conversions. The reason we do that 
<coughs> excuse me, because it's really nice and clean and it's short and you don't really want your transfer case hanging off of this thing 18, 15, 18, 20 inches, right? And a lot of the conversions out there, they put this long extension housing deal, you know, so they could like adapt them or whatever and put their sensor in it. So ours is really nice and clean. So, you know, we, uh, we only change our overall length by an inch and a half for like a 68 RFE. So it plugs in, but in the event you have like a um, CA conversions, this connector, these harnesses are specially built for the conversions. This connector is a little bit longer and it goes into their, their extension housing. So it picks up the output speed. So as long as you order what you need from us with the exact right application, then everything will just be a plug and play, you know? So coming back over to the bench, you essentially have your main harness, right? That I just showed you. Plug in your TCM. Plug in your sub harness. This mounts under the dash. That's your data link connector. That connects to the TCM. So you can program the transmission control module. You can use EFI Live to do that. This will plug into your translator, right? That's an app that we've built that lets you program the translator to change little things inside of it. We're adding stuff all the time. Um, and then this communicates the vehicle and you're done. So this is pretty much uh, like the turnkey deal. If you have an existing Allison in your truck, in your Ram that you want to make just perfect, give all the open architect to be able to change your shift timing, change your, build your calibrations, modify calibrations, you know, change shift quality, pretty much anything you want to do. Um, this is, this is the only thing that you're, that you're going to be interested in. It's absolutely kick-ass. I mean, it's like seriously amazing. So glad that we can bring this to you. Um, check out our YouTube videos. There's a lot more of these install videos, a lot more going on with our Allison um, conversion packages, all the different year make models. You know, this is going all the way back to basically a full standalone. So if you want to put an Allison transmission behind an old VE 12 valve um, and there's no electronics, we have this, well, we're releasing the setup for that. Currently, we're releasing everything for the 2010 and newer. There's nine different kits from 10 to 21. So it's very important that you talk to our sales staff and you get the exact, you give us the exact application of what you're running so we can make sure that we ship you out a complete plug and play system that is going to make you love your truck again. So thanks for sticking with us. Uh, check out a YouTube video and uh, just give us a call if you need something.